We're back in Elm Creek and we are officially bringing back the lawn care business. That's right, Align Landscaping is coming back to FS22 in Elm Creek and we've got some money to spend. That's right, you heard it here first. Now that we've got all the other businesses making us lots of money, we can officially put some more money into more businesses. What do we own, like 30 businesses now? It's absolutely crazy, but it's never ending. So yeah, we're going to be starting up with uh, some new mowers, some new land, and maybe a new shop too. We got to find the right spot to build in Elm Creek because we're going to have lots of traffic. So we want to make sure that we have a good spot for customers to pull up to and get our services for their yard and everything. So all right, let's jump in the work truck. We're going to head around the city check it out, see if we can find anything cool. And if we do, we'll call the realtor and purchase it. But guys, before we do continue with this episode, make sure to drop a like on today's video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Let's roll out here. There we go. Hang right on the East Boulevard and we're going to go to the neighboring city. This is the main boulevard, they call it. But there's also like a secondary Elm Creek city. You guys have probably seen it. It's over by the water tower to our left. So we're going to go check it out, see if there's any good land over there. It's a little bit cheaper then on uh, the main street there. So we want to see if we can, you know, save some money. We don't need to spend every dime we've got because eventually we want to hire some new employees and also have some more guys mowing the lawns with us. So that'd be also the long-term goal, but uh, we'll have to wait and see if we can find anything here. There is lots of residential in Elm Creek though. So that's the nice part. Not many issues there. And look at the grass. I need these people need their lawns mowed like ASAP. There's no waiting around for this, even the city too. But uh, it is springtime, April 9th, so we're getting pretty close. But, uh, you know, sooner or later, we'll be mowing lawns very quick. It'll be, you know, June before you know it. So uh, let's see if we can find anything. Yeah, there's not much around here. It's pretty packed in. I'd have to say maybe this spot right here, but I don't I don't like the location. Reason is, is you're located next to a bridge. There's lots of accidents that happen, and I, I don't know. I just don't like being next to a bridge. Let's swing it around. We're going to head back to Main Boulevard there and see if we can find anything because looks like this town's got nothing. All righty, we're back, boys. So over here, you got the grocery store, the dry cleaners, and that's it right there. All the residential, too, is up in that neighborhood. There's like 30 homes. So I think we're going to head up there and maybe do our first mowing job. If not, we'll do it next time. Wait, 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 wait. Break, break, break. Hold on. I might have saw something back up. We were just there, but I didn't even think about this. Behind the diner, it's not on the main boulevard, but it might save us a few bucks. Here we go. Check it out. Right behind the diner. Dude, this could be perfect because they have a whole driveway. We're next to the gas station. We could literally get gas and it's like 50 feet away. Hold on a second. Let's jump into construction mode here. Okay. Yep. We're going with this. Check it out. I'm going to go ahead and flatten all the land out. That way we have a ample ground to build our entire shop on. Not going to be a giant shop because we don't have a ton of equipment yet, but this is going to work out pretty good. So let's get building on this. I've already paid for it. Yes. And here we go. We're going to get rid of this field. That's whatever's next to it. We don't need this anymore. Let's clean that all up. And then we'll probably put some trees too to kind of separate it. Whatever farmer's field this is, I feel bad for him now, but uh, you know, it's whatever. All right, let's go with the good concrete there. Perfect. We'll go with the rock texture along this side. All right, looks good. Yeah, this should turn out pretty even. It's going to be a little bit of a cheap build, choppy build, but it'll turn out decent until we can uh, make enough money from the lawn care business to expand it eventually. All right, boys, here it is. It's the same shop that we built the new repo business in, but you know, it worked out pretty good. It's a nice shop and we're going to build another one. So why not? Uh, a couple things we got to add though, is we're going to actually put the grass back down on the edges here. And that's just because we're going to put trees down. So we don't want to have trees growing out of concrete. That doesn't make much sense. So let's put some grass back along the edges. It'll look a lot nicer in just a few seconds. All right, we got our tree down. They're just a bunch of these, uh, they're called service berry trees. I don't know. They work out pretty good when it comes to privacy for the shop. We don't want to have people like looking all over the place. So that looks good. Let's add in a nice light. We've got a couple of different options here, but we do have this one light. It's called a floodlight. And uh, we're going to add it in right there. Small floodlight. And it's going to highlight the entire shop when it's dark out at night. So you'll have no problem seeing. If someone needs to, uh, you know, get into the shop or if I have to get to the shop at night, if I forgot something, whatever, it'll be nice to have. So, all right, that looks pretty good. Is there anything else we need to do here? I think this is pretty much it. One thing is, is we're going to park trailers on the side and probably this side too, because we're going to have some trailers eventually. But uh, we are done with the shop build, guys. I got to have someone come out and do this concrete because it is a part of the city. As you can see here, there's like a little curb. So they got to do that to finish it off. But for now, it's looking pretty good. So let's go customize some new lawnmowers. Okay, guys, we've got lots of different options for mowers here. We got zero turns. We got whatever this thing is. I'm not using that. But uh, we also have push mowers. We have ride sit down mowers. A couple different options for them. Uh, we obviously have the John Deere. This is the commercial mower. As you see in a lot of residential neighborhoods, these are really good because the turning. It's literally a zero turn. So that's nice too. Um, also, 
pretty decent price, I would have to say. I mean, it's about $18,000, but, uh, you know, you can get a sit-down one. This one's not good. Reason is, is it's actually only a 40-inch mowing deck. The only difference about this one is, is it's 72-inch option. Look, you can get a 72-inch mulcher mowing deck, which helps you get the job done twice as fast. So that's kind of nice. We're going to customize these out first. We're going to do gas, of course. I'm not messing with diesel lawnmower engine just because it's kind of harder to get service. We also got this cool option. It's called airless tires. Obviously, we got like your simple tires, but the airless ones, if you get a nail in it, it's not going anywhere. So that's nice to have on the lawnmower. And we're going to add it because why not? So we're going to get two zero turns from John Deere. There we go. The Z track. These are the Z994R series. So pretty nice. We just bought two of them. So we spent 50 grand. Okay. Well, I guess it's a little bit more than in 19. I was saying 19, both options. You got 5,000 in options. So that's insane. All right. We got 50 grand. We have only about another $70,000 left and then we'll be at our budget. Okay, next up is a trailer. Of course, you need a trailer for your lawn care company. And this time, we're going to go pretty big with this. We're spending $25,000 on an enclosed trailer. Yeah, that's right. We're going to go an enclosed trailer this time. We've done, you know, all just the normal big text ones. But the nice thing about an enclosed trailer is your stuff doesn't get stolen because it's enclosed. So that's nice. And I think that's all we're going to do. We might come back and do like a little big text. You know what? Actually, it's only four grand. Let's buy that. That's a pretty good price for a brand new utility trailer it is. And uh, all right, we're gonna, we just bought that. We got two trailers, two mowers. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, we're going to buy it. We're buying a Yamaha Banshee, boys. We're going to complete the project. Okay, this thing will help us get the job done faster. Really, it'll actually probably slow the job down. Um, but, all right, this is pretty cool. Let's put a red, white, and blue American theme on it. Looks sweet. All right, let's purchase this thing. $4,600. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we got the GMC here. Here's the new shop. It's looking good. For those that have not seen, let me go walk in the door here. I'll show you what it looks like. It's super simple, but it's nice and clean. And then we've got a light switch around here. There we go. Nice, bright, shop LED lights. Look at that. Dark, light, perfect. And you also got a back door too. So right here, we can go around back. And then we've got the trailers right there. It's perfect. The overhead door is electric, so I don't have to like roll it up with my hands or anything. Look at that. Not even touching a thing right now. That's awesome. And uh, we'll leave the shop open because we're going to be back very shortly. So let's head on over to It'd Be Clever Motors import company which they sell pretty much everything you can think of vehicle wise so if it's got an engine they sell it so we're gonna go ahead over there and i think we're gonna figure out how to get that smaller trailer back with maybe the two mowers and then grab the enclosed trailer so that'll make us about two trips and then we'll be done all right we're here check it out uh, we gotta pull around this side here we're gonna back up to the big techs it's actually a nice trailer it's got the full ramp option so you don't have like the ramps you got to put out on your own you just drop the ramp and this thing's perfect so all right, we'll actually do that. Look at that. Perfect. And I think we're going to load up the Banshee first because it's the smallest thing. This actually turned out pretty clean. For five grand, it better. Fire it up. It's an old two-stroke, so it still sounds good. There we go. Hit the gas. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. This was definitely a W buy here. And right there. Perfect. Drop it down. Looks good. And then I don't know if we're going to get both mowers on the trailer. It might be pretty tricky, but... And I don't know if we're going to get both mowers on the trailer. It might be pretty tricky, but, you know, worst case, we could just put one in the back of the enclosed trailer for trip number two. Yeah, there's no way. These things are huge. All right, strap, strap, strap. Okay, yeah, there's no way we could get another mower. That'd be super close. Um, Anyways, we'll be back for that. We're going to get these back to the shop, and then we'll come back for that enclosed trailer. Check it out. It's actually pretty nice inside. You get like a toolbox and a little workstation, which is nice in case we have breakdowns on the equipment on the job. I'll meet you guys back at the shop to drop this stuff off. And just like that, we're back. Look at how close it is to everything. It's so nice being in this city. Like I said, I wanted to be over here originally. We just had to find the solution you know, to find good price land. And we did find it. So, all right, we're going to back this straight into the shop. I, I'm hoping it fits. I don't know. I didn't do measurements. Oh, yeah, it'll fit. Perfect. I think the door should be good. The enclosed trailer is not going to fit. That's going to be outside, but it is enclosed. So, it's okay if it rains or anything. But here we go. We can back this one straight into the shop. This will be like our setup number one. And looks good. Let's drop it there. All right, perfect. We're out of here. Let's go grab the next enclosed trailer and zero turn. And I do have to say this GMC, man, this is a great truck. We usually drive Fords, sometimes Chevys, but GMC, we don't really mess around with much. And I do have to say, kind of nice to switch it up here. So, all right, we're pulling in. There we go. Shortcut, boys. Oh, all right. Hit it. There we go. Swing it around. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Ah, uh, ultra realistic. Nothing going on here. Finally, we're getting hooked up to this enclosed trailer. There we go. Looks good. So we just got to pull forward, get the ramps down on this. I think it's just hydraulic. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Okay, ramps are a go. Let's go check out inside. Here we go. We got the flashlight on. There's not lights. We need to install some work lights, but 
got a side door here. You got all these little things in the ground because you can put these latches for your straps. So you can strap down your equipment, obviously holds them in place. Here's all your like workstation. You can put tools, mount stuff on the wall. This place is just perfect in place. Oh my gosh, it's a trailer, but it basically is like a whole place. I mean, it's just, uh, it fits everything and it's pretty good when you're on the job. So, all right, there we go. It doesn't have AC. That's one thing we could add though. AC while we're on the job, that'd be pretty cool, but there we go. Okay, door is ready to go. Let's head back in to town and we'll get this all back. And I think that's going to be it. We're not going to do any mowing today. We are running tight on a time schedule. I think we're going to come back and do some more episodes actually doing some mowing because it's a lawn care business and we might actually get into construction too so there's a lot of stuff we could do in the near future but um yeah guys thank you for watching today's episode like i said if you did enjoy and you like this series because now that it's springtime lawn care equipment all the cool stuff zero turns make sure drop a like on this video because it does show me that you like it and that's the only way you technically can so guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one